Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the first video of Exotic Agent. My name is Zach Neff and I'm a real estate agent that absolutely loves cars. So that's why this channel is called Exotic Agent. Now behind me is not really an exotic car, but it's one of the coolest cars that I've owned thus far. So I wanna take you guys on a journey through my car buying experiences. So let's go and I will show you what's behind me. All right, for some of you guys, you may not know what this car is, but this is a 2017 Polaris Slingshot. Now, one thing that stands out with this car is that it only has one wheel, which is which is absurd. So these things came out in, back in 2015 and they just hit the market like crazy. People were like, what are these things? Were they classified a motorcycle? Were they classified a car? Nobody really knew. So at first you had to have a motorcycle license. I actually owned one in 2016 and I loved it so much that I had to get another one in 2017. So these things are so much fun. So. Let me kind of walk around here, show you guys the player slingshot. Here's the one wheel behind it. And this is driven by a belt, as you can see here. And the size of this tire is actually 18 inches. And then the front is 15 inches. So these cars are so much fun. You can sit side by side, which is really cool as well because you can have a conversation. And then also I put a radio in. So this is an aftermarket radio with aftermarket speakers. And I have the aftermarket windshield and then I have my real estate logos on it. So this car right here is so much fun. So back in 2015, I saw this advertisement come out and it was for the Polaris Slingshot. And it was just like, going through these curves and the driving experience and sitting side by side. It, it was just an amazing commercial. So I was like, I've got to have one of these things. And so I ended up purchasing one in 2016. I saved up all of my money. People thought I was absolutely crazy. Everybody's like, what is this thing? And I was like, well, this is the brand new Polaris Slingshot. And what's cool about these things is they grab so much attention like even more so than a Ferrari sometimes. I was riding side by side with a Ferrari and the, everybody else was like looking at what am I driving. So now I wanna show you guys how to actually start this thing and how the mechanics work on it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, so first of all, you jump into the seat here and you can see that you got your slingshot logo, you've got your RPMs, and then you've got your speedometer and then I've got my radio and then you've got this start button here. So the first thing you got to do is turn this key to the on position down here. It is a six speed. I didn't mention that either. Um, actually a five speed. So you put your clutch in right here with my foot and then you hit this button. I'm going to turn the radio down. started. I'm going to turn the radio off so I don't get pain. As you can see my engine, I'm going to hit this button so it changes to the miles. And then I've got my radio I'm going to turn off. Okay, cool. Stereos. So I'm going to give it a little gas for you. All right, so the way that you pop the trunk is pretty intricate actually. You come down here and there's a little latch right here. So you push that down and it releases right here and right here. So you push that and then you lift up. Oh, this is hard with one person. You lift up and as you can see, we've got an engine in here. This is a Pontiac Solstice motor, an Ecotech motor. 
And the way that this thing's built is just so cool. Dual wishbone suspension. We've got our exhaust, engine, and all these components. I'm gonna turn it off here. So another really cool thing about the player slingshot is that if something goes wrong, unlike a Ferrari, it's actually rather cheap to work on. You know, you've only got the Ecotec motor and then the rest of it is pretty much plastic and metal. So pieces are readily available. They are kind of on the higher end, but overall, this thing's pretty easy to work on. I personally don't know much about cars, but I installed the radio myself and you know, other than that, I've got decals. I'm probably going to buy some rims in the future just to give it a, that pop. Obviously, we got to get new shoes on this thing. But overall, this thing is so much fun. So stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to do a driving experience and kind of explain to you how this thing handles. So until next time, I'll see you.